Hi, I'm Anna Sophia, a broadcast student here at MBCI. Today I'm teaming up with our Campus Talks program and interviewing an MBCI alumni, Chris Petko. Chris is owner of Build Company here in Winnipeg. Build Films has done documentaries for National Geographic, the Smithsonian, and Discovery Channel, just to name a few. That's his 9-to-5 job making documentaries. We brought Chris in to talk about that, but also a little bit about the show he created called The Make Me Show. Season 1 has Chris up in Canada's backyard, the Arctic, trying to be a polar bear guide, yes, with real bears, and very little experience. Here's the clip. It's, it's incredible, uh, but also really nerve-wracking. We're kind of waiting to see what it does. This is the story of Trevor and Chris. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> two grown males rocketing towards a midlife crisis. It's a story about two dudes who met in community college and are looking to make something of themselves as polar bear guides. It is endless wild. It's pretty unbelievable. At the moment we have six polar bears. <laughs> Looks like these guys spotted a bear. Hi Chris, thanks again for meeting with us to talk about what you do. I know there are many aspiring film students here at MBCI that would be very interested to know how you got to where you are. So let's start with the first question, what do you do? Well, I'm happy to be here, Anna Sophia. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be back in the very gym I spent most of my mornings shooting free throws with, or in. So, to answer your question, uh, how, what do I do? Mm -hmm. I make uh, documentary films, uh, primarily focusing on uh, the Arctic, so that's wildlife, that's culture, that's people, but my true love, my truest love, is to being, being out in the middle of nowhere with just bears. So you're just dressed in the warmest clothes you can imagine, but you're still somehow freezing, and you now have to walk to go up to bears. You don't want to scare them, you don't want them to eat you. It's kind of a dance that you do, and it's very um, artistic in its own way, but also with like a, a pump of adrenaline mixed in, you can imagine if it's like, okay, well, it's life and death. There's a bit of a component to that uh, when, you're, when you're in the middle of this yeah. with nowhere to go. So you kind of have to really play your cards right. You got to know a lot about bears. You got to know a lot about what you're doing and how to approach, uh, approach wildlife. Certainly the largest land carnivore on the, carnivore on the planet. Uh, it's good to know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what keeps you inspired? How do you come up with ideas like the Make Me Show and how did that idea come about? Inspiration, yeah, so inspiration, that's a great question. Uh, for, for us, uh, for whatever reason, it seems like we learn the hard way. So inspiration comes from a lot of mistakes. We're willing to try anything and everything. Uh, and often what ends up happening is that we end up, you know, coming to a fork in the road or we hit a brick wall and we're like, okay, well now what do we do? And that's really where the creativity starts to, starts to come, is that we, in fact, want those. We welcome the, the, the dead ends, let's call them, because it offers us an opportunity to think about something in a different way. So, for example, with the Make Me Show, the idea was that we were originally going to feature uh, somebody in, a, in an Arctic lodge learning or like what polar bear guiding was like up there. Uh, but it turned out that, <laughs> and not to sound too hubris here, but it, we found that we were going to be the most interesting characters in it. So we were like, okay, well, we can't, there's nobody here that is like, that is jumping off the page. Plus, we were a little bit selfish. We were like, well, why don't we just do it? So we pitched uh, a, a broadcaster. They were all for it. Uh, they had known that we had had some experience up there and uh, took a chance on us as characters. And that's how that happened. So it, again, it's sort of an example of like a dead end or like, okay, well, this isn't going to work. So how can we adjust? and make something work. Well, it turned out that the solution to that problem was us. Um, where did you learn your film skills? Did you go to a special school or program? Yeah, so I graduated from the University of Manitoba with a philosophy degree. So I have, you know, there's this, uh, you know, you can't tell from the Make Me Show that there's a, like an actual intellectual side somewhere knocking around in this brain. Uh, it doesn't necessarily show up with the show. But uh, that sort of started the whole thing. And then as far as a specialty school, um, when I didn't want to be a lawyer or couldn't be a lawyer because I couldn't pass the LSAT, 
uh, I ended up going to uh, multimedia production school at Red River College. Okay, that's cool. Um, you graduated from MBCI in 2000. What was your experience like? Did MBCI have an impact in your decision after high school? Yeah, well, in, I mean, everything ends up having an impact. So uh, from, you know, from small decisions to large decisions, certainly where you go to school and, and your experience at school, uh, MBCI teaches you quite a bit, a, a lot about work ethic. They kind of don't let you get away with not doing something. That's what I found, uh, which I thought was really, uh, really important. And then in the place that we're in now, the gym, where I spend a lot of my time, uh, really learning discipline. So then the sports uh, aspect and teamwork from that kind of came in, into the mix. As far as MBCI in particular, I think it's uh, a philosophy of, of, uh, of teaching or a way of teaching that, that really impacted me. And that uh, has carried with me for the rest, you know, for the, throughout my life, certainly. Every once in a while you kind of veer off the path, but you know, you always find your way back. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chris, for taking time to talk to MBCI to MBCI students. If you could leave students with one piece of advice, what would it be? Oh, get outside. I mean, not while you're in class, but then after that, get outside. Go, go breathe the fresh air, get out with, po come see me, I'll take you up. I'll take you up on a trip up to see the bears. You'll love it. Uh, just really immerse yourself in nature as much as you can. Um, it, is the, it is truly a breath of fresh air once you're out there and it really provides a, a grounding, uh, I find. Uh, and then when you're on the ground with wild animals, uh, things can get a little hairy, and that's fun too. Great, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>